Hi everyone, um, my name is Ashton Kelly and um, I'm doing my thesis on the environmental and economic performance of small scale heating systems with my supervisor Dr. Jura Devlin. So firstly I'm going to talk a bit about the background for this project. The European energy policy is underpinned by the need to limit exposure to increased volatility and prices for fossil fuels, the need for reduction of GHG emissions by using less cleaner and locally produced energy resources and also the need for more competitive energy markets to stimulate innovation, technology and jobs. Combined heat and power generation or cogeneration is the simultaneous generation of both usable heat and power. This has been considered worldwide as a major alternative to traditional systems in terms of delivering significant energy savings and emissions reductions. Furthermore, in Ireland, um, a commercial micro CHP field trial is currently being carried out by the SEAI. Micro CHP systems have been installed in fire stations, nursing homes, apartment blocks, and uh, hotels throughout the country. Now, looking at the objectives of this project. The main aim of this research is to assess the overall efficiency and pollutant emissions of conventionally and renewable fuel small scale heating systems, including micro CHP. As part of the project, I'm going to investigate emissions from natural gas, kerosene, uh, wood pellets, wood chips, and other solid fuels in various types of boilers and CHP units. Specific objectives are to determine the efficiency of small scale residential heating systems from experimental data collected in real life conditions, to determine the critical parameters and variables that determine sizing and control strategies of residential heating systems, and to develop a computer based support system to aid in the decision making of residential CHP systems which will lead to optimal sizing and operating conditions. Okay, next we're going to look at the materials and methods used during the project. First of all, we're going to look at the equipment and site selection. Next, to, in acquiring the emissions data. Third, the data analysis. And for, final step is the development of a support system for sizing CHP. So first, looking at the equipment and site selection. The sites were selected based on the types of boilers, the types of fuels they used, the energy rating of the homes and the types of outlet flue from the boiler. The equipment I'm using for to measure the emissions is an auto gas analyzer uh, and this consists of a probe that can be inserted into the outlet flue as shown here. The, once the boiler is switched on this probe can measure the gas emissions and it, the data is recorded on this pocket PC. Once the data is recorded, it can be exported to Microsoft Excel to exp and it graphically displayed. Um, the gases I've chosen to measure are carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and the air fuel ratio. I'm also going to use a software called, my, uh, called Visual Basic to help me develop this. This can create a a user interface that can help uh, support customers in sizing their micro CHP units based on the energy rating of their homes. Okay, now we're going to look at the anticipated results. So firstly, looking at the results for the emissions analysis. The results in the combustion of solid biomass fuels with a CHP system or use of a micro scale CHP system are anticipated to show a reduction in carbon dioxide emissions when compared to the combustion of conventional fuels in domestic boilers. And these results could provide a rational basis for fuel flexibility in domestic homes. Next, examining the sizing of micro CHP systems. Uh, during the process of boosting adoption of micro CHP systems, both manufacturers and customers are interested in the optimal capacity of the power generator for the unit. Also, once the unit is installed, what control strategy to use in order to minimize their cost of meeting the cost of meeting their electricity and heat requirements? The development of a support system for sizing micro CHP should aid with this decision making. 
And finally, we're going to look at the economic consideration. A sensitivity analysis will be performed on various fuel prices, electricity prices, as well as carbon tax rates and electricity buyback prices. And this is hoped to improve the understanding on the influence of key parameters on the decision to adopt residential CHP. Next, we're going to look at the time plan for this project. The project began pretty much in October. Um, so from October to February, I began independent research and selected which project I'm going to do. I, I also started my literary review. Then from March till until June, uh, I'd arranged the on-site testing dates, began testing, and started using the software for developing the support system. Also, looking into the future now, from July until August, I'm going to complete testing and then complete writing up my thesis. I've also translated the time plan into a more detailed work plan by creating a Gantt chart to help me manage my time better and keep me focused on getting the task done. The majority of my time has been allocated to the literary review and the thesis write-up. I'm currently involved in emissions testing, analysing the test results and, produ and producing the support system. Another si more other significant portions of time have been allocated to the emissions testing and selecting the right equipment and testing sites. Key milestones are shown here along the bottom. These milestones include the interim presentations and the date in which I finish emissions testing. So that's my presentation for today and thank you for listening.